for lack of options, we're gonna eat at Wendy's. Okay, you know, at Wendy's they have the one dollar menu. We, we call it the welfare menu. This is the welfare burger. I used to really enjoy these. I noticed they're smaller now, and they cost twice as much. How's the food? No, I can't believe I used to like Wendy's. I'm eating this thing. It's, it's gross. And um, we've been eating restaurant food for the last three days, pretty much, except the fruit we bought for the hotel room. And we both feel like total crap. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. I feel like total crap. No energy, you know. Yeah. I have, like a headache all the time. Yeah. Pretty bad. Imagine eating like this all the time. Yeah. When you look at the people around here, man, they look very unhealthy. <laughs> you you look unhealthy, Aaron. You've only been here for three days. You're a little pale. Even my son won't eat the, the hamburgers and the potatoes. He wants to eat avocados at the hotel room. Smart kid. Gunny, are you going to eat the hamburger and the potato? No. What do you want to eat? So, I want to drink some juice. You want to drink juice? Are you going to eat avocados when we get to the hotel? Okay, good. The more you eat of this food, the older and the uglier you look. Allow me to demonstrate. Okay, so this is downtown Medicine Hat. And it looks like a lot of stuff here is closed. My guess would be because there's a lot of super stores on the outskirts. That's me, but don't listen to me, I'm paranoid. Okay, so I finally got to downtown Medicine Hat. When I booked my room, the lady at the hotel asked her, is it near downtown? She said, no, but you wouldn't want to go downtown anyway. There's nothing there. But really, it looks much nicer down here. Look, it's all old Wild West type, you know. I think it's cool. I'm gonna check out the hemp store. One thing that was conspicuously absent from Medicine Hat were small food stores. No grocer, no butcher, no cheese shop, no baker. There was supposedly a whole food store, but you had to go out of your way to get to it. The disappearance of small businesses, especially food related, appears to coincide with the arrival of the superstores. Sure, you can get organic there for triple the price, but I couldn't even find whole grain bread, only organic wonder bread for $6 a loaf and I've never seen so much irradiated fruit in my life. What I was told by the locals was that the superstores arrived about 10 years ago and the small businesses shut down one by one. The convenience of the superstore led to an increase in the number of people moving to Medicine Hat, as well as an increase in people from neighboring towns coming to shop there. So the superstores even affected business in nearby towns, but the only ones who really benefited from it were the superstores. The end result is that one or two corporate superstores have near total control over the local food supply and have replaced a good part of small businesses. People say when Codex goes into effect, but folks, Codex is already in effect. And from here on, it'll only tighten its grip, especially on the smaller towns. Aaron's daughter says that this is a trendy area, so who you knows? Maybe there's hope, you know, sometimes when a lot of people wake up, things change because they make them change. You know, people decide that they don't want the corporate, you know, the huge corporate stores and the, um, all the junk from China. And they make an effort to provide an alternative. You never know, there's always hope. Okay, I went a little further down and there's more stuff here that's open. It's cool, but it's so cold, I can't walk around here. So maybe I'll come back another day, but pretty much my whole vacation's been out at the, at the hotel. It's pretty boring. Okay, now it's Sunday. Okay, after, like, after getting here, Aaron didn't get to use the bathroom while he was on the plane because of the wheelchair. 
he got a really bad urinary tract infection, and because um, he only got to use the bathroom when we got to the, to the um, airport in Calgary. Anyway, he's had that since we got here, and we were just like, I know I look terrible, we've just been like deteriorating for the last few days. Every day we feel worse, we were eating junk food for like the first three days. I finally got to the grocery store yesterday to get some real food. Uh, I finally got to the health food store yesterday to get Aaron some cranberry powder and some things like that to straighten him out. And um, now we've both got stomach flu or something like that. I don't know, we just feel so bad. I don't know if it's from the food or what, but like we're in like terrible shape. I don't know if people realize, like I guess when you eat like that all the time, you get used to it. Uh, but uh, when you don't, like it really takes a toll. And the other thing is like people don't realize that natural remedies work really, really well, you know? Like I always say, you know, if, if Aaron had gone to a hospital, they would have given him antibiotics, but he's gonna be fine with the cranberry stuff and some coil silver. So now I'm gonna see if I can get kefir or some yogurt pills, uh, you know, to solve the rest of our problems. Okay, I managed to get the, um, the yogurt pills. You know, I just asked for plain yogurt this morning at the restaurant. And they're like, no, no, we don't have that. It's like, why would you want to eat yogurt without sugar in it? <laughs> yeah, here's the thing, okay? Like, they do have organic foods and all that. Not that I always eat organic anyway, but they do have organic foods here. But boy, do you have to pay for it. I mean, a container of yogurt like this in Montreal would be like, what, three bucks? I don't think they even know what kefir is in this town. Even the health food store, they don't have it. The store is just so huge. It's like daunting. It's crazy. Get lost in here. I'd rather be in several small stores and have to go through this maze and see how like one store like this will easily take over an entire town's worth of businesses. Pet food store, you know, pharmacy, everything. Like even the gift store, the gift wrapping and card store, all in here. Toys. Oh, they even got the flower shop. Look. I'd be happy to eat some real food. The food was horrible there. Really expensive to get anything good. Yeah, it's true. Anything that has said organic was like three times as much as regular. Well, double maybe, yeah. but yeah. It was awful. Three times what it is in Quebec, what yeah. Yeah, the food there is really controlled. If you want to know where uh, Codex Elementarius is going, go to uh, Alberta. Okay, quick, Aaron. All the things that you're not that you're not gonna miss about Alberta. The food. Bye bye, yucky processed food. Yeah, and the cold. It was like minus 40. Minus 40? How about the hotel, being stuck in the hotel? Yeah, being stuck in the hotel. And, and the mall. The bye yeah. mall. Yeah. Mall, mall hell. And, and the superstores. Superstore hell. Oh yeah, and, and the water that gave you the runs. Yeah, constantly running for water and then running to the can. <laughs> bye bye water. Oh, well, the dry air. <coughs> <coughs> Very dry. <coughs> You're still coughing from yeah. it. Yeah. <coughs> Check it out. Whole grain bread, hummus, sprouts, tomatoes, avocados and onions, veggie pate. That's the way I like it, baby.